Hey everyone, welcome back to Shop Life. It's another night, but today we're gonna to be working on an older BMW. I know last time I posted a vlog regarding a E28 535 that I was just checking out. Everybody commented, hey, do more older BMWs. So today we're gonna to be working on this E24 635 CSI. Uh, we're practically just gonna be stripping it, but first we gotta get it in here. That is one heavy car, even with a lot of the stuff taken out, and I don't have the key for it. So we're gonna to try to figure out to get it to turn on and bring it in. All right, so I've got the ignition switch out. Uh, I hooked up a battery with jumper cables as well. So now we're just gonna try to see if we can crank it. Oh. So the ignition switch is out. So all I have to use is a screwdriver if I can find it. Right here. So pretty much the ignition switch attaches to the key cylinder and that's where you put your key to turn it. So instead of using a key, since we don't have the cylinder attached anymore, we're just gonna use a screwdriver. Here we go. Oh. Got some lights. Oh. It's gonna need more power. Let's see. How long do you think it's been since it's been on? It's been like over six months, maybe eight months. Come on! Yeah, we need more juice. Let's see, how are we gonna do this? I, mean, I can put it in neutral and push it out, but if we don't get it to turn on, we can't push it back. You think we could? We can try. We can try, if anything. When our neighbors come, we'll figure out how they're gonna get in. Well, they can't get in until they help us push it back. So either way, it's a win-win, right? <laughs> All right, let's push it out a little bit. So obviously, it's oh nighttime. My God. <laughs> it's nighttime. You're All cringy right. as hell, oh, boy. Hell no. <laughs> Stop. Can you even see me? Yeah, I'll reflect. Yeah, they that. can see you real good with this camera. For real? Yes. Oh, I thought I was dark as hell. No. Oh. You well, are. I am but, dark. You know, but like. like I ain't that dark now. Yeah, okay. On. It is nighttime, obviously, as you guys can see. Um, but we're gonna be working on it at least as long as we can until we get really tired, and then we'll just figure out. We what slept we during do the day that. a little bit. It's Sunday yeah. today, so we had a little yeah, it was a little like, nap time. A little nap time, hell yeah. We don't sleep; we take naps. But anyways, all right, let's put this hood down. And let's push it out. Perfect conditions. If anybody wants any parts off of this, so this whole car is getting stripped. Um, the backstory on it, so my I had another uh, customer, 635 CSI, and he wanted to buy a parts car so we can, you know, restore his. And this one had like a perfect interior. So he bought this as well. Uh, we brought it to the shop and it's been here ever since. It's been like about a year, almost over a year. So once he got it, he already stripped the whole interior out. Uh, his 635 CSI on the older videos, it was the black one, is actually at uh, the paint shop right now. So I was getting the full car repainted you know everything just restored the interior is at his place he's going to install it once the car is painted but we're going to strip the rest of the stuff he's also going to take the harness uh, and just put everything else for sale but if anything if anybody wants anything this is an 86 so it's got an m30 b34 uh, i think it has 130 or 140 thousand miles i don't remember exactly it ran and drive perfect when we had brought it here um, the transmission is automatic the rear end everything is still intact so we're just dropping everything Everything will be up for sale. So you can do it yourself. Mm -hmm. Boy, that should about start coming back. Mm-hmm. Alright. Now we got the keys for the wagon. So he's going to get the keys for the wagon and then we'll hook it up and hopefully that's enough power to turn it on. And yeah. And by the way, yeah, we can't push it. We already tried so many cars pushing it in the sh inside the shop, but as you can see, it like, goes uphill. So it's very hard. So yeah. <laughs>
Can you give the wagon some gas? sketchy but I got the steering column unhooked from the actual dry uh, like the steering rack so now I can turn it luckily there's power steering but I'm just gonna go really slow all right let's see what happens close the doors oh another yeah, straight yeah yeah another straight a little bit more yep yeah, there you go I should help, right? Probably. <laughs> Put that shit down, bro. <laughs> Gotta see it. You know, all they gonna see is my ass. What? We got it. Reminds you of the good old days, right babe? Yeah, but we still didn't have a lift in the good old days. Yeah, and it was on grass, not concrete. It was yeah. a lot worse. <laughs> yeah, you can see those vlogs on his YouTube channel because we used to upload vlogs on his, yeah. um, which is Shop Life TV, like it says on his shirt. So if you want to watch those where we used to have like the big, big shop, um, make sure to do that. Yeah, those were like back in North Carolina. There's some videos back in the day where you'll hear like a bee flying around the camera and stuff too. You'll see me swatting at gnats. Yes. We don't miss that part. That's for sure. But on to be better and smaller places, huh? I guess. <laughs> but yeah, all we used to do was part out cars. So that's why we're, we used to always push cars that wouldn't even start. So. They're all wrecked for the most part. And the batteries will be dead, so we'll be pushing them around. Pull them with trucks too, we used to do that. We broke a couple of trucks pulling cars too. Oh yeah. His first video on any YouTube channel was actually taking out an engine out of uh, an E21. E21, yep. yep. And that car actually came from California. We had it shipped, uh, it was totaled, but we had it shipped all the way to- And had Carolina. Recaro seats that you yeah. sold for good money. We sold the Recaro seats for more than what we paid for the car. 
and the seats were torn up and they're like the factory Recaros. Yeah. And they were completely torn up. Then we sold the rear end, which was a limited slip. We sold that for how much we bought the car and we still had the whole car left to go. Oh, we sold, it was a factory manual. We sold that whole manual swap for more than what we bought the car. Yeah, that was back in 2015. So yeah, we've been doing 15? this for a long no, time. No, more than 15. It was 2015. You started YouTube channel in 2015. Oh yeah, it was 15. Yep. Dang. Well, I mean, it hasn't been that long. It's only been like three and a half years. Boy, it's been long. Uh, we've been working on cars for longer. Yeah, Well, I, I took in my first wrench 2013. Yep. 2013? Yeah, 2013. So maybe not even that long. I mean, we've only been working on cars for five years. Only? Seems like forever. It seems like forever. To me, but go ahead. It could be worse. I could be sitting in an office at a desk with like a suit and tie, making a lot more than I do here, but it will still be worse. Stop. Take off, take off, I can't take no breaks off, I've been